All right, guys, good boy 32 here checking out. So we're out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. This is one of my favorite little range bays because basically I can come out here and can be by myself. Uh, it's short and it's sweet and to the point, and it serves well for everything that I have to do. <laughs> but uh, in any case, it's going to serve real well for today's test. We're testing out this guy right here. This is a uh, plate by uh, SRT Tactical to Ambitech. Ambitech NIJ Level 4 Protection Insert. This is the model ASK 4. Uh, lot number, blah, blah, blah. Threat level NIJ 0101.06 Level 4. This model of armor has been determined to comply with the Level 4 standalone through test conducted in accordance with NLECTC's compliance testing. It says this side towards you. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually got the, two of these things. They're inserted in this plate carrier that I'm wearing right now. This is their, their plate carrier. This is in the multi-cam. So uh, if you remember a while back, I did a review on these guys right here. Now this is their level three. This is the AR500 plate. Well, those holes right there are from a 5.56 and shot through a 20 inch barrel, which we are going to do today. Through this guy right here this is the elite build this is that one that was getting those four inch groups with the uh, uh what do you call that the tula ammo man a little a lot of hate mail from that guy right there but we are also going to test it with the trusty ak-47 got a little uh, optic here on top of this thing we'll be doing a test on that guy a long little while from now and then we're not messing around with any nine millimeters today boys and girls we are going to go ahead and do something a little different a little 44 magnum action so what is that test going to consist of we're going to go ahead i'm going to put uh one round each through the plate carry the plate itself we are going to put it into the plate carrier because one of the things that i want to do is and if you remember we also did a test where i tried to uh, put the spray on stuff on here for the spall protection is and that's probably one of the is just as important as the penetration of spall protection because what we did with this guy without spall protection took a balloon put it on top of it and it just shredded a balloon we can actually see this has a some serious spall protection as a matter of fact it's got some uh, defined uh, rigid edge on it as well as uh, some really nice spongy for spall protection but what I want to do is I want to put it into their plate carrier. This is one just like I'm wearing right now. Really cool stuff. It's got the uh, breathable inserts right there. Uh, and if you're interested in taking a look at it, actually, I did a review on the one that I'm wearing right now. As a matter of fact, the plate carrier that I destroyed is sitting over there near the trash can. And that was from a while ago. But what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it with 5.56. Five, we're going to shoot it with the green tips, the 55 grain. We're going to shoot it with the uh, 7.62 by 39. And we're going to shoot it with some 240 grain 44 mag. One round at a time. We're going to examine it for spalling. We're going to take a look at it for penetration and see how it runs. Now, the advantage of running, say, a level 4 ceramic plate like this versus this guy right here is about three and a half, four pounds each. These things, there's a huge difference between the two. So when you put both plates on, this AR500, you, uh, you will feel the weight. Uh, I always tell people, go for the best you can afford it. And to be perfectly honest with it, these guys right here, I'll put the link down to RTS Tactical. You can find these things. They are more economical now than ever. So let's go ahead and install it in the plate and get to shooting. And I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and shoot from 50 yards. Uh, and that's a, a good distance for rifle, uh, for impacts. And then we'll go ahead and shoot for maybe eight or 10 yards with the 44 Magnum. That should be a lot of fun to see how it works out. Here we go. Stand by. All right, guys. So here we are. We're at the 50 yard line. I've got cameras in the front of that thing and I got cameras in the rear. What are we going to do? We're going to shoot it with the 124 grain tiger, which is, uh, something that's supposed to be really nice. I'm literally looking forward to it. Uh, so here we go. We've got a new optic on here. The reason we're shooting this thing the first time is I've got this thing uh, zeroed in on a rock. So I'm hoping we'll just go ahead and hit it. So <laughs> here we go. Center mass. Let's get on down there and see how it looks. Stand by. All right, so I'm overexposed, but I wanted to show you this. Here's the point of impact 
right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I wanna pull this out. I'm looking up here and there is zero penetrations on the upper side. So that's what I wanted to see. Even on this side, there's absolutely nothing that we can see as far as penetrations are concerned. We do have a little bit of uh, fragmentation out here. Look a little, little bit of a ceramic buildup. So we can go ahead and pull it out from the bottom and take a look at see what we got. Got some bulging in the backside right here. You guys can see that. But on the front side, it, it encapsulated that bullet. And that bullet's in there somewhere. We'll dig it out here in a little bit. What I want to do now is I want to try, there's a piece of the bullet right there. <laughs> That's a, the jacket. I want to go ahead and I'm going to isolate this area for the 5.56. Five, First thing we'll do is we'll shoot right side upper with the 62 grain, right side lower with 55 grain, and then what will happen is we can go ahead and uh, hit it right in the middle with some 44 mag. Here we go. But I want to I want to show you guys something. See the leading edge? Not a not a thing. <sighs> All right. So on this next round, we're going to go with the elite. Now this is a 20 inch barrel, one and eight twist. This is going to launch the 62 grain at a pretty good velocity. But that's what we want to do. We want to test it against something that's pretty big. Huge. Huge. Go ahead and load up one green tip. And we're going to shoot to the upper left corner. All right, upper left corner. Here we go. Oh, you can see what that green tip did to that thing. It's very clear a firearm. Let's get on down there and see what we got. Stand by. All right, so we're sitting here. We got the 62 grain green tip. That thing's got a hole in it. <laughs> and that bad boy did some damage. As you can see right there. Let's go ahead and pull the plate out and see how it fared against the 62. All right. There. You can take a look at it. Most importantly, there's nothing. No spalling across the bottom or the top. Nothing came out of the top. And the backside is bulged out, but that's it. Somewhere in there is a bullet. We may have to dig it out and find it. Let's go ahead and hit it with the 55 grain. And then I'm really looking forward to that 44 mag. All right, so when you shoot in a steel, AR-500, we found out a 20 inch barrel, 55 grain will roll right through that thing. Uh, Swiss cheese. 62 grain, not so much, but the 55 grain, just because you're hitting a muzzle velocity of, my God, uh, 3,250 3, feet per second, this thing's a smoking round. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one on the lower left side up there and see how the 55 grain works out. Here we go. Interesting. Rifle is clear. Let's get on up there and uh, see, <laughs> see how it worked out. Here we go. All right, so right here is our penetration. We got them on the edge. So then it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, nothing through the backside, but we do have some stuff coming out. But it's interesting. I want to see how it did on the edge. Okay. There. Now check that out. Hit it on the direct edge. No spalling coming out. Nothing on the back side. Guys, uh, yeah, that's uh, three nice rounds in there, and that's the damage that you got. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now it's time for the fun. But in all seriousness, uh, 7.62, you got the 62 grain and the 55 grain guys. This thing's holding up pretty good. We already know that the 308 is not going to go through this, but I'm going to tell you something. It'll be interesting to see how much damage is incurred by the 44 Magnum because a, a real good friend of mine told me 
that, well, 44 doesn't have as much kinetic energy as a 55 grain to 556. Let's find out. All right, guys, here we are, man. We got the beast. This is the Ruger Red Hawk, seven and a half inch barrel. Picked this up from the guys down there at Point Blank Range. This was slightly used and certified pre-owned. <laughs> but uh, in any case, it did come with the rings. I've got a scope ordered for it, but I felt like this would be a really good opportunity to, to play with this. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Now, we are shooting through this, this guy right here. This is a 240 grain 44 Magnum bullet. So let's go ahead. We're going to shoot at center mass. We're at five yards. Figure, you know, hey, that's a good distance if you're engaging something or someone or a bear who's wearing a ceramic plate. You never know. Damn bears these days. So here we go. Center mass. This ought to be fun. Now remember, my buddy, I'm not going to name him. He knows who he is. Says that the 5.56 has more kinetic energy than a 44 Magnum. Let's find out. Let's check it out. Here we go. All right, guys, the hole is right there in the middle, and it's a lot bigger than these other little bitty holes. So let's just see what the damage was done by that 44 Magnum. Yeah. Here we go. You can see right there that uh, there's a lot of play. A lot bigger holes than all these other ones, right? Anyway, there it is. <laughs> that thing's huge. They're all big holes. I don't care what you say. Uh, a lot of fun testing this thing out for the guys over there. RTS Tactical. This is made in America uh, right there in Miami. And uh, I tell you what, I wouldn't have any reservations about recommending this. As a matter of fact, it surpassed anything that I thought it would do. But I have five more bullets in that Ruger Red Hawk. So anyway, guys, I'm going to put the link down below, RTS Tactical. Uh, go over there, check them out. Uh, if, it, if I had to pick between these plates and the AR500, it would have to be these. They're, the cost uh, justification to spend a little bit more for this is, in my mind, not even an option. Let's go ahead and pump five more rounds in this thing and see what it does. Here we go. Show your walking through the woods, you know, minding your own business. Here comes a big old grizzly bear, and he just happens to be wearing, like, uh, you know, some level four ceramic plates. What do you do? What do you do? You pull out the old Ruger 44 Magnum with a seven and a half inch barrel. That's what you do. Here we go. She's a goner. Pull out the bottom of that bad boy. Look at that. That's impressive. Oh, there we go. Part of a bullet. Poor little bear. He's shitting over there. His armor plating. It's unreal. We gotta put him out. Forty-four mag. I, I'm just having too much fun today. All right, guys. So that's what a forty-four mag does to some ceramic plates. But I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> Nada. I don't know what else you could do. That thing. This is a, some good stuff. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, I've got two here in my. Uh, rig one in the front one in the rear of course got a nice big old flattened bullet in there yeah we're just having too much fun today in any case that's it nothing out the rear rts tactical mm -hmm. it's go boy 32 guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so support the red white and blue god bless america god bless those men women in uniform and you know what's next those who defend our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all, I'm out of here.